Welcome to another week of Sean's Law. Chris Gale isn't the Chris Gale that we're accustomed to see him doing the things that he has done over the years. Obviously, he's 42 years of age. The reflexes must slow down. And hand coordination is not the same. And he hasn't really produced any magic for quite a while. However, on his day, guess it right, he can still be very oh. destructive. Yeah. The West Indies. West Indies losing their final game in the T20 World Cup in United Arab Emirates going down to Australia by 8 wickets on Saturday. They lost their penultimate game to Sri Lanka by 20 runs and they ended the competition. They were the defending champions, not defending champions anymore. They ended the competition with just two points. Just one victory from five matches played. But that's it for the West Indies. Now, Dwayne Bravo calling it quits in terms of the T20. Chris Gale, Minime says, on his way out. Pollard, a lot of experience. Andre Russell, a lot of experience. Next year will be the World T20. But looking at their performance this year, wasn't that great at all. Wasn't that great at all in every department. Fielding, bowling, and batting. That strategy of using power hitting, that has gone through the window. They need to use all areas of the facets of the game. You need to know for run singles. You need to know for run twos along with the power hitting. That power hitting won them two titles back in 2012 and 2016. That's great. However, the game has transitioned. The game is moving away from that power hitting with that involved per se. Not power hitting alone, but runs in terms of twos and singles and power hitting and know when to do it right. The West Indies learned a lot in this world, T20. Hopefully, what they have learned, they can implement next year at the next T20 World Cup. But I'm thinking that some of the players that you've seen, apart from Bravo, may not be on that team next year. Coach Hubert Busby has been suspended by the Jamaica Football Federation. He is a head coach of the National Senior Women's Football Team. Uh, suspended by the JFF on Tuesday after a meeting was held. It was said to, it would have been held with him, but um, that did not happen, actually. They held their meeting at the JFF and they suspended um, his services. Now, allegations were made um, back in 2010, 2011, but it surfaced or resurfaced in the Guardian newspaper that happened last week um, that he made sexual advances while he was recruiting a player. That was back in 2010, 2011 when he was the head coach. Um, now, the argument is coming up about the suspension of uh, that individual and also suspension without pay. And persons are saying, or some persons are saying that if you suspend a man, why suspend a man without pay? All right. If you make a decision to suspend someone because of uh, whatsoever reasons they are, you can't be with pay. What is a suspension? And a vacation, the man go upon. Seriously. And a vacation, you suspend the man. Whether it's right or wrong to suspend the individual, um, you make a decision to suspend the individual. So guess what? It has to be without pay. The other thing is suspend the individual. It had to be done. When you look at the entire case, and I'm not saying he's guilty, but it has to be investigated. The JFF has passed it on to FIFA for the investigation to happen. And, and it doesn't stop there. Oh, yeah. The league itself is investigating the Vancouver Whitecaps if they did the right thing because he was not the first coach allegations were made against at that club. But guess what? You look at the case in terms of what the young lady said, and because of what the young lady said, you can't say, okay, push it aside. No, you have to do your investigation. And maybe, just maybe, the Me Too movement and all, with everything that's happening now, you have to put him aside to make that investigation happen. And while that has been done, if he's found that, hey, he's not guilty, you gave him that money while you were putting him aside, giving it back. If he's found to be guilty, well, that's that. But you have to make that decision. And I'm agreeing with JFF for him to be suspended. I'm agreeing with JFF not to pay him at all. He's suspended. He can't be paid. Big up my shirt. Big up Jamaica. Big up my country. Well, guess what? November 16 is the day Jamaica will play USA in that FIFA CONCACAF qualifying match in that A-team round. And Jamaica needing the points. Jamaica government has actually um, come on board in terms of support, in terms of allowing 5,000 persons locally to be in the national stadium for that match. 4,000 in the bleachers, 1,000 in the grandstand. But it would be more than 5,000 in the stadium, though, because 
Um, you have more perks in terms of officials being in there, and then you'll have persons from the United States will be allowed in there. Don't know about 100 to 400 tickets or so. So it will be more than 5,000, say about 7,000 persons in the stadium. And I'm rejoicing, I'm happy. 4,000 in the bleachers. Bleachers which holds over 25,000. 4,000 in the bleachers. Um, 4,000 what? 4,000 who? Remember? Have to be vaccinated. So 4,000 persons are vaccinated in the National Stadium. And I'm happy. Well, come on. Why not 14,000? Why not 10,000? Why 4,000? That was suggested as I was asked at a press conference. And the Minister of Local Government and Community Development uh, stated that, let us start with that. But, uh, well, I see, the people don't need money. Why would you start with 10,000? You have to look at the space in terms of the bleachers and say 4,000 um, if you're going to space them out and social distancing. But well, I see, 4,000 are joking. See, you should have gone with about 6,000, 10,000 uh, in the bleachers alone. You understand? Because persons are clamoring for tickets. A long time now, persons don't want football live and the national team. And they go up against USA. Well, it's a big match. I think there should have been more than 5,000 people in the national stadium. If you want to say 1,000 for grandstand, fine. 4,000 for the bleachers? No, sir. More than that. Need more than that. And fine, it's a start. And you're going to have more matches in, 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 in the national stadium for this campaign. So I hope it in actually involves an increase as you go forward after the assessment is made after this match. And I said, okay, it can work. Yeah, but 4,000? Well, I say. Step up that 4,000 from the bleachers, no? I'm a bleachers man. That's because I work with a grandstand. So, no. You know how to get tickets now. And it's $2,000 a ticket. 7700 for the grandstand tickets. $2,000 for the bleachers ticket. Step up more. More than 4,000. Let's see. Jamaica against USA. Let's see what I go on.